bins. Oh my God. Oh, now it's tingling. My lips are tingling. It's burning all the way down. Jesus Christ, what is that? Hello everyone, welcome back to Craft Beer Lady. It's great to see you today, thank you for joining me. So we've got Strength by Numbers. This is from Brewdog. It's an Eisbock and it's 57.8%. Yes, you heard that right. It's 57.8% and it may be the strongest beer, but I think it's the smallest beer I've ever seen. Look at that. Um, now I do believe that this is a collab. It's Brewdog's name's all over it, but there's also uh, a German brewery called Schorschebrau. Probably saying that wrong. Um, yeah, so I think it's collab, but I'm not sure. What's the point of this, you ask? I have no idea. 57.8%, who's going to be drinking this? It's all about novelty, isn't it? Um, but it is going to be in the Guinness World Records, or whatever you call them. So that's an achievement, I guess, if that's what you want in life. Um, let's get this thing open. Ready, how do you open this? It's so tiny, I feel like I'm gonna smash the, smash the little neck of the bottle. Uh, I'm gonna push it, yeah, that's it. Oh, blow my neck. Oh. It's not as bad as I thought. It reminds me of something like this. It's got Christmas cake kind of smell to it. Anyway, let's give this little thing a little pour. I'm not gonna go mad on that. Oh, it's like, it's like syrup. I'm gonna have to put more in so you guys can have a look at it. Oh, it's like brandy. It's like brandy with a slightly gone off colour to it. It is got a consistency of like a syrup. Now, oh. It smells incredibly strong and that's because it is incredibly strong. It doesn't look appetising to me whatsoever. It smells... Right, you know the hand sanitizers, you're going into all these different shops, there's one out there that smells particularly like this. It's not a pleasant one. It smells quite similar. I'm not getting any kind of nice hints of beer, although it smells quite sweet. If you kind of hold it from here and give it aroma, you kind of like that Christmas cake, that sweetness and boozy Christmas cake kind of smell comes out of it. But when you're on a close-up, I'm going to give this a taste. Against my better judgment, cheers everyone. Oh my God. <laughs> oh. Oh, it burns. Oh my God. Oh, now it's tingling. My lips are tingling. It's burning all the way down. Jesus Christ, what is that? Oh, oh, that can't be good for you. <coughs> oh my gosh, why didn't I bring something else to sweep down after that? Just give me a minute. The taste goes pretty damn quick. All I'm left with is burning. I didn't put enough in my mouth to taste it, but there's no damn way I'm putting any more in there. Oh, it burns. Oh, my throat. Jesus. I'm really hot all of a sudden. Don't try this at home. I'm going. Um, yeah, my phone says ding, ding. Um, I, I agree, ding, ding, ding. What, um, why? Why though? £35? Um, you've got to try these things once, right? I don't know. Mm, that, yeah. Um, I suppose it's a very expensive hand sanitizer. Anyway, enough for me. If you like what you see, do subscribe. 
and my mouth still feels really weird. I'll uh, see you all again next time. Cheers. Bye-bye.